This is how the Q&A started in Minneapolis, and it only got weirder. Uh, what do you got right there? Oh my, oh, you're, oh, you're, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you raised your hand, this was... <laughs> this is so unexpected. <laughs> front row and you're like, I have no idea this would happen. I can take a question from someone else to come back to you if you want a moment. No, I want to have the long hair. Yes? Wait. So. What, what, what now? You can ask a question. I'm not going to have sex with him on sex. No, I'm... Whoa, no one... <laughs> saying, what's your question? And you were like, I'm not going to have sex with that man. And we're like, that's okay. most women. It's fine. We get it. <laughs> he knew that as soon as you raised your hand. But You're no. wrong, but okay. I understand. Uh, what, is the, what is the question for Andrew over here? Yes, Mr. Purple Rain. Yeah. All right, who else has a question? <laughs> do you have a question? Because if you do, you have to ask it now. I found you just like like, yeah, how do I, how do I, what's your, I'm not on, no, I'm not on, like, social media, like, like, You're on something. <laughs> <laughs> not enough drugs to want to sleep with me, but, uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, AndrewJRivers.com, OnlyFans, YouTube, whatever you want. <laughs> Don't you dare? Andrew J. Rivers. There we go. I, yeah, that's, <laughs> She's like, see, you didn't have to make this complicated. <laughs> I was trying to simplify it the whole time. I'll have a card after the show. I have 17 pieces of merchandise. I'm begging for attention on 13 apps a day. I promise you, if you Google, even Steve, you'll find me. I don't even know. Just Google hockey player that tours with Steve. <laughs> friends with Steve that no one wants to fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm right there. And then, Doc, and then you'll have to sort through the four. Yeah. And it's on OnlyFans. How much does he charge? Oh, damn. So, for those in the back, just to make sure you're heard, he said oh, Andrew, he said, Andrew yes. said he was on OnlyFans. How much does he charge? Uh, Andrew will pay you $10 to join us on OnlyFans. What would you change? Seriously, if you did an OnlyFans, what would you change? I do have one. You do have an OnlyFans. There are lonely men everywhere that message me for dick pics. And, uh, <laughs> do, you, do you have a lonely fans? <laughs> All my fans are lonely, yes. Uh, 25 bucks for a dick pic. Uh, same as a t-shirt, so, you know. You can make a fake profile and come add me tomorrow. Word choice? Yeah. <laughs> Use the code Minneapolis for 10% off. <laughs> Mini what? Well, anyway, so. Do you sleep with a pillow between your legs? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his dick. Pillow. Uh, uh, I do not sleep with a pillow between my legs. Are you uh, some sort of chiropractor? What's happening? Please tell me the. I've got some questions for you. So, why? For my back. Oh, because of the, the joke about how I hurt my back. Oh, because physical therapy. Because if I sleep with a pillow between my legs, I can go back in time. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to ask this question, but how, how old are you? 40, so I get it. You're, you're 40. Yeah. So you get it. So you understand that the pillow ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> the idea that suddenly, oh, that's the answer to why we're all getting older. I get it. <laughs> And then, do I walk with a pillow between my legs as well? Or... <laughs> Just trying to help my joint pain. When I'm filming my OnlyFans, I use a pillow to get down. <laughs> By the way, I, 
I agree with the silence. <laughs> like, normally Rob's firing off a lot, but with these questions, I agree with him just being like, I'll, I'll wait for another. <laughs> He's like, about you're like, that's out of the strike zone. <laughs> Andrew's been naked in like half of them. I don't know. What comedians inspire you? What comedians inspire me? Each of you. Each of you. Each of you. All of them. Um, yeah, take some from everybody, and and uh, and I mean, Steve inspires me, Rob a little bit. And, uh, I'm he only did that because I'm the one paying him. <laughs> Who got you started? Uh, well, uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch uh, Brian Regan a bunch, and that was uh, a great influence on me. For, sure. yeah. uh, for me, it was uh, it was Bill Hicks. And Andrew already said me, so I'm not going to change yeah. his answer. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I saw Steve, and I was like, oh, I can do that. That's easy. <laughs> For 15 minutes at a time. <laughs> we never fight. We never fight. We're actually really good. On the road, we get way, along. If you want to see him perform for 15 minutes, he's got an OnlyFans. Oh. In July, so <laughs> that's an hour long. He's I just want to good. defend my owner. <laughs> He's quite good. This question is for Rob. Hi. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just hang out over here. <laughs> so, is it going to be as weird as that one was? Or is this... <laughs> hey, Rob, I, just from this angle, have you ever thought about starting an OnlyFans? <laughs> Question quickly. <laughs> That's gonna seem weird, but um. Not weirder than that. <laughs> For those of us who have um, also had um, rough childhoods, yeah. how do we also, you know, see the comedy in it? How do yeah. we, wow. like, what's your advice to us to bring comedy to our lives? Buy his merch. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of healing through that, yeah. I've heard. <laughs> I really appreciate you asking that because that's like a big reason why I wanted to do this material. I came out with the album and then I wanted to dig deeper into, you know, things that really affected me. And I started doing the material and people after shows would share with me some, you know, some of their horror stories. And it made me feel so good that it made them feel okay to, you know, talk about it and open up. And so when you get to that place where you're comfortable talking about your your life, your traumas, everything, then I think that that healing process starts. So whether you want to share it or not, to be able to just listen to somebody else, that's really nice. And if you can open up and talk more, that's great. So that would, that would be my first step. If you can make it funny, God bless you, right? <laughs> uh, but if you could just talk to people about it, I think that that was like my first step personally. And thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. <laughs> when, when Rob was <laughs> when when uh, like after shows uh, last year when when we would you know stand there in the merch line and I would I would listen to people tell their stories to Rob I would see that it genuinely would make him feel better because he'd be like oh my, mine wasn't that fucked up. <laughs> And then our tour manager, John Bander, read us some of the questions that people texted in. What do you think of the youth nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's amazing that person has a cell phone. <laughs> was, that, was that typed in on one of those with the giant numbers? <laughs> yeah, it was a rotary. <laughs> yeah, it was, that text came from a rotary phone? They were like, oh, this is a lot. Four, eight. That joke's even too old for some of the people in the crowd. Uh, what do I think of the youth nowadays? Um, I think this is the most compassionate generation we've had, and I think it's only going to continue. 
and I think that it is hilarious to watch old people be like, these damn millennials. I'm like, first of all, millennials are 35 now. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> like it's just them being out of touch. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, if you hate the youth, I mean, you're the ones who raised us, you know, so... Don't uh, give uh, us participation trophies if you don't like it. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Andrew, can I just ask you a question? I'm, I'm us? old, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The youth? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think so. I'll, I'll move on. You seem like feminists. Uh, hold on, stop it. I didn't see who asked the question. Uh, man or woman? Uh, I believe it's a woman. A woman. My advice is that you need to know this better than we do. Alright, okay, is the... I, I follow up. Um, are you saying, what is, what is my advice for other people trying to induce one? Or what is my advice for people who haven't had one? I'll show you later. <laughs> Not you saying the, the youth, they're incorrigible. <laughs> These youths over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Andrew has a tutorial on his OnlyFans. <laughs> For the people who are genuinely curious, um, pay attention, I think, <laughs> is the way to do that. Well, and, okay. and, and, yeah. and don't think that the same combination opens every lock. Because it's super, if you're just like, why isn't this working? Because she's a different human. <laughs> and she's into way different shit than whoever that was. Mm -hmm. One of them might be into some really weird shit. I don't even know. But just ask them what they're into, and then do the thing. It yeah. seems fairly simple. Sometimes women make this confusing too, so, so to ladies, you can't yes. say women like this, and women like when you do that, because you're you, and then someone else is someone else. Do you know what I mean? So guys are confused. They're like, oh, so we want you to do this every time? And the new girl's like, no, I don't like that at all. Stop also, choking me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Meeting. I mean, it was <laughs> but I will say this, and this I do believe is a feminist stance. Women, take, please, please take responsibility for your own orgasm. It is not anyone else's job to know what you like. The idea, there's no guy being like, well, she didn't make me come. <laughs> Because whatever it is you're doing, even if it turns them off, they'll be like, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, worked out. <laughs> so, just... Who are you with tonight? <laughs> I'm not... There you go, there you go. There you go. Not That's a fantastic question. <laughs> I sincerely hope you're not oh, here there is a day. guy. Oh, I see him. Oh, alright. Usually two knuckles in, and it feels like the inside of your cheek, kind of. Again, everyone's different. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three. Everyone's different. Also, it's on the top of it. Yeah. It's, uh, a pillow underneath the lower back during sex. <laughs> that helps with the 40 year olds for sure. Yeah. The pillow isn't what goes between the legs. Uh, no, under the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the idea, wait, hold on, the phrasing of that, advice for the female orgasm, as if, as if the female orgasm came over, I'm like, alright, listen champ, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of moaning involved, you're gonna need some water, okay, hydrate, hydrate. Are any of you into any geeky stuff? If so, which stuff? Ooh, <laughs> another dirty question. <laughs> Who wants to know again? <laughs> I love the idea of like, what are you into? Like, 
D and D. No, it's only just I D. just started to. <laughs> Let's do the orgasm question again. That was fun. <laughs> you should gotta wait 30 minutes before you get a second one, but uh, <laughs> no, no, no. She can ask it multiple times. Oh, okay, okay. We're gonna have to take a nap, though. <laughs> By the way, Rob Ryan is about to launch an amazing one-man show called Mascot. I'm helping produce it. You can find out more and help fund it by following Rob Ryan on social media, at Rob Ryan Rocks. Thanks for watching my videos. If you enjoyed this video, tell me in the comments. Make sure to follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and everything else. If you want to see videos like this before they are released, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Steve Hofstetter. And I'm back on the road. Come see a live show. Tickets and tour dates are at stevehofstetter.com.